The procession route for the King's coronation has been revealed, and it's a state coach shocker. So the procession route for King Charles's coronation on the 6th of May has been revealed. And it's just 1.3 miles long. If we compare that to that of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, in 1957, that procession route was almost five miles long. So what this means in reality is that far fewer people are going to get to see the King and Queen on Coronation Day. And there's one more major change to the procession. But more on that in a minute. Some details of the coronation have already been revealed. Like, for example, Queen Camilla will be crowned with Queen Mary's crown, thus avoiding any problems with any gems that may be in other crowns that other countries may suggest that perhaps they own and not the British state. The King, of course, will be crowned with St Edward's crown, which is only used at the very moment of coronation. It has already been removed from the Tower of London, where it is normally kept for safekeeping, and it has been taken to an undisclosed location to be altered in order to fit the King's head. After the moment of coronation, the King will then wear the famous Imperial State Crown, which many of you will recall rested on the coffin of Queen Elizabeth II last year. A copy of the invite to the coronation has also been released by Buckingham Palace. If you happen to get one of these in the post, you are very, very lucky. My suggestion is don't bet on it. And the famous yeoman warders, the beef eaters, have all been measured up for brand new uniforms, which for the very first time will show the cipher of King Charles III. But other than that, we have few details. We don't have a full guest list. We don't know, for example, if Harry and Meghan are attending. And we don't have a full rundown of the procedures of the day. We don't know what format the service will take. It is highly expected to be a far shorter service in length than that of Queen Elizabeth II. But we now know that there is one more major change associated with the procession. The King and Queen will not travel in the gold state coach from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Abbey. They will only use that for the return journey. Now the procession route is actually going to follow the same route going from Buckingham Palace to the Abbey and then from the Abbey back to the Palace. When Queen Elizabeth II was crowned, she had a far shorter arrival to the Abbey and then this five mile parade around half of London. The King and Queen will travel to the coronation in the Diamond Jubilee state coach. And this is the most modern of all of the state coaches. It was first used in 2014 for the state opening of Parliament. It has electric windows, air conditioning, but it has numerous traditional elements. The crown on the very top is carved out of wood from HMS Victory, Nelson's flagship. Inside the coach, there are timbers being used from buildings such as Westminster Abbey, St Paul's, Windsor Castle, Carnarvon Castle, Stirling Castle. There are around 20 different buildings represented in that coach. And also, timbers from my own flagship, the Mary Rose. There are parts of the original bell from Big Ben, parts from a Spitfire, a Lancaster, a Hurricane. It's even got fragments of Florence Nightingale's dress. So that is what the King and Queen will be travelling to the Abbey Inn on Coronation Day. Then, after the service takes place, they will exit the Abbey and return to Buckingham Palace in the Grand Procession. This is where they're going to be accompanied by thousands of different servicemen. And it's here that they will finally get inside the Gold State Coach. Now, as they arrived in the most modern state coach, they will now return in the oldest. 
This was built for King George III in 1760, and it weighs almost four tonnes. Because of its immense size, it can only move at walking pace and has to be drawn by eight horses. But it has been used for every single coronation since that of William IV. The problem with it is, is it has no real suspension. It is literally just slung on a pair of braces. And so the reports from various monarchs over the years haven't been that favourable. Queen Elizabeth II simply described it as horrible. George VI described the ride in it to his own coronation as the most uncomfortable ride of his entire life. Queen Victoria described the distressing oscillation. And William IV, who was a naval man, likened it to being tossed about in a ship in a rough sea. So perhaps this is why the procession route has been cut short on the journey from the Abbey to Buckingham Palace. After all, Queen Elizabeth II was only in her mid-twenties when she was crowned. King Charles III will be in his mid-seventies. It may well be that he doesn't really fancy an extended trip in that gold state coach. Hope you enjoyed this edition of Breaking News. Please hit subscribe and we'll be back soon with more Breaking History News.